tips on how to prepare for your first rewind, whether you're on a budget or you can afford whatever you want. So yeah, while I am filming this video I thought I would change Willow so you're not just staring at my face the whole time because that would be pretty boring. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to be splitting this video into five different sections. I'll leave timestamps in the description box below so you can skip to the section you want to know about. But yeah, let's begin with the first section. So the first section is creating a safe space for your reborn. So before you get your reborn, you want to make sure there's somewhere they can go, whether it's a box, a washing basket, or if you can spend a little bit more money, you can get like a Moses basket or a crib. I started out with a washing basket. You can get them really cheap from a any store really, a home store, a grocery store. So yeah, that's a really good place just to keep your reborn away from any pets or younger siblings. And it's just somewhere to put them when you don't want to put them on the floor. So yeah. So the next section I've called getting the essentials. There's not really like essentials that you need for a reborn, but it's just like little things that will make having a reborn more fun. So the first essential I class as is clothes. I mean, clothes are really fun to dress your reborn up and just try different styles and outfits on. It just makes having a reborn a whole more fun experience. Of course, clothes can be expensive, but if you look in thrift stores or charity shops, then you can find some really good prices. I get a lot of my reborn clothes from thrift stores. And then if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, you can go to some stores in England. I know like Asda and Sainsbury's, they have their own clothing line and there is a lot cheaper and I'm sure like America in Target and that. And then if you're more expensive, you can get designer and anything like that. But I, I don't really know that much because I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. So yeah, that's the first essential. The second essential I would say is having a bottle just because feeding your reborn is really fun. Um, so cheaper bottles you can also get from thrift stores. I'm probably not the most hygienic, just make sure to clean them out really well. Um, but then you can also get some from like just off-brand bottles. Don't go for like Tommy Tippy or Ad Avent because they're the more expensive ones. Um, but yeah, if you're trying to stay on a budget, just stick to the unbranded bottles and just cheaper ones in general. The next essential is just like accessories, including like bibs and dummies, anything like that. So of course reborns come with magnetic dummies, but sometimes they don't. So magnets can be really cheap. I get mine off eBay. Um, they cost me about five pound and I think I've got like 20 small magnets. And then I just get dummies from a cheap local store. Um, dummies again, if you get the unbranded ones, you can get them pretty cheap. And then the more expensive are like if you go for the branded ones, I can't think of any on the top of my head. So yeah. The next section I'm going to cover is about travelling with your reborn when it arrives. So obviously getting a car seat, a pram and everything else on top of that is going to be super expensive. So like I said before, the best place to start looking is a thrift store or charity shop or even asking around your friends, posting on Facebook, seeing if anybody's giving away a car seat. And that's how I got my car seat. Before any of this, I started off with a baby carrier, it was like a sling, you've probably seen it in some of my videos beforehand, it's blue, and that only cost me £10 off eBay, so there's always different ways you can take your rebound out and it doesn't have to be expensive or a big deal. The next section I'm going to cover is caring for your reborn. So you want to get the essential things for caring for your reborn. So the first thing I recommend getting is a type of makeup brush just to wipe any dust off your reborn. It protects their paint without rubbing it off with harsh chemicals. It's just a makeup brush so it's just getting all the dust out of the crevices. The next thing I would recommend getting, if you're getting a baby with rooted hair, then of course you'll need a baby hairbrush. Um, some reborn artists send one with the doll, but if there's not, it's always good to have backup. And then the next thing you can also use is a toothbrush to brush the hair. I've seen many reborn YouTubers do this. So yeah. And the final section is preparing for the arrival of your reborn. So of course if you're watching this video you're probably expecting your first reborn so congratulations it's a very exciting time in your life and you probably won't forget it. Um, you're going to be very excited but when your reborn arrives you've got to remember to be gentle so when you're breaking into that box just think there's a reborn that you've paid maybe hundreds of pounds on so 
don't let your excitement carry you away with like stabbing the box to try and get in it. The last thing is just like be careful with your reborn. Don't leave it lying about for pets or young children to get to it. Um, just like even if you're tired and you can't be bothered to put it away, just think how much you've spent and how hurt you'll be if it gets damaged or anything. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on Saturday with a very exciting video. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss this one.